Got another torch in for testing today. It's the Phoenix PD35 version 2, and this was sent in via My Phoenix UK for a review and test. As per usual, I'll go through some of the details on the packaging, five power levels with this particular torch, and Phoenix also have included a runtime chart at the bottom. Don't see that very often on torches. User guide and your warranty card are included. I'll go over the user guide a bit later on. Two spare O-rings and a tail cap switch cover is also there. And a slightly different wrist strap. I personally prefer the one with the adjuster, but that's okay. And this is the holster. It's a fairly slimline, lightweight holster, nylon with the Velcro patches on it. And you do have a belt loop sewn on the back. Again, I'll come back to that a bit later on. On to the torch now, fairly standard size for this particular type of torch and I have to say I do like the finishing on the Phoenix. It does feel a cut above most of the torches that I've looked at. It's hard to quantify that, it's just that the finishing just feels slightly higher grade. Got a nice bit of knurling on there, there's a diamond cut knurling and good grip on the uh, tail cap there where you can unscrew it. It's a nice grip on that, easy to unscrew. Unfortunately though it does stick out that switch so you can't tail stand it metal side switch and you have a copper surround and in the middle there you've got an LED that has a four stage power indicator which I will show you in a bit more detail later on and you have an anti-roll design on the body excellent design on this very smooth threads these are square cut threads as well uh, it's already pre-greased but you just get two uh, non-rechargeable CR123A batteries with this torch so I would have liked to have seen a rechargeable 18650, perhaps a micro USB. So I'll be using my own battery here for testing. You'll need button top batteries with this. There's a spring on the tail cap, but you will need to use that. Or you could put a magnetic spacer on the batteries, the flat top, and use them. The reason you're going to need to use a protected cell or a button top is because of the two side contacts there, which prevent you inserting the battery the wrong way around. But it does work, I've tried it myself, so there's no problems on that. It's not a huge issue. As I've said, do like the finishing with this. It just feels to be a really good quality. Nice spring action on the clip, although you can't reverse that body around. That's one minor point. Onto the LED, XBL High V3. Smooth reflector with the anti-reflective coating. Just put the battery into the torch now. And what I found with the threads on this is really nice. It's not too much pressure on it, so it's quite easy to screw in and there's no rattling around inside. So very nice job Phoenix have done on the uh, body construction and design. And I do like that switch. It feels almost perfect. Um, just about the right amount of tactile feedback. It's not too hard to push and it has a clicky action and it's not too soft either. So very nice switches on this torch even if I'd prefer if it would uh, tail stand, that would have been a nice bonus. Onto the UI with the Phoenix, the momentary, just a half press or a light press, and that is the momentary for the last power level that you've set, and then just a full press to turn it on and off. Use the side switch to cycle through the power levels. As I mentioned, the switch does feel very nice on the Phoenix, probably one of the nicest that I've used. And then if you want to get to strobe, you just need to hold it in for about a second and that takes you to the strobe. Then just a quick press again will take you out the strobe. The strobe is a fast and a slow flashing strobe, so that's one of the better strobes that I've seen. So if you like a simple UI, very easy to operate. So remember you don't like the multiple presses, the Phoenix is going to work well for you. What I would say is I wouldn't mind an instant access to turbo or possibly just a double press on the side switch takes you direct to the turbo. That might be something which I would add myself. Though the base switch or tail switch isn't going to be that easily activated, you just give a slight twist and it will lock it out fully just in case you're worried about that. But I really can't see that as being a problem. As far as the battery level indicator, Phoenix don't really give you much information. It's just saturated, sufficient, poor or critical. But what I did was measure the voltage when it gets down to the red and it was 3.6 volts and you'll see it drop down the levels. With the whole side, I prefer if they beefed up the build quality on that little bit. It's a snug enough fit and you can put it head up or down. But what I would like to see is um, just thicker materials on the nylon. Not heavy neoprene uh, padded. I don't particularly like that on torches, but just something a bit more substantial. It doesn't quite match up with the quality of the torch. 
which is right up there with some of the best that I've used and the holster's just average at best so that's something I'd like to see Phoenix look into. Quick look at the user guide, I've put the PDF on screen for you so you can have a look through that. It's a very easy torch to operate but it does contain the information if you want to have a browse through that and pause it. Didn't see any problems with the water resistance test and I wouldn't expect to. Moving on to the beam shots now starting off at 350 lumens. You have a mixed beam pattern with this, a bit more focus in the middle. So even though you have a thousand lumens which doesn't seem hugely impressive with some of the torches that I've looked at, it does actually have a bit more range than the Nightcore because it's a bit more focused and the Nightcore tends to spread it out a little bit more. You have a bigger, uh, more diffused hotspot. It's really down to taste what you prefer. So I'm going to run through some more beam shots now and as usual I will come back with a conclusion and some thoughts at the end of the video. <music> My summary on the Phoenix PD35 V2 is that I actually really like this torch quite a lot. It's one of those torches that you pick up and handle and the switches just feel right. The machining on the body just feels great. It's a torch that I've really enjoyed using. They've almost got it perfectly right except there are a couple of things which do bother me a little bit. I would prefer if you could base and tail stand the torch for the sake of making the switch a little bit smaller or the dovetails a little bit longer. The holster that I've already mentioned and also that shortcut to turbo and possibly reversing around the body so that you could change the clip direction. That would almost make it perfect if you put a neutral white option in there. It would probably be one of my most favorite torches, but you still have quite a nice torch here. Very nice finishing, good even distribution on the five power levels. So thanks for watching the video. If you've used one of these or you've got any thoughts, do leave a comment below and I'll catch up with you in my next video review coming very soon.